Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. Okay, so today we're looking at uh, another mini art kit. This is the mini art kit number 35535. It is the farm entrance with wall, part of their buildings and accessory series. This kit is um, currently discontinued. So, but I was lucky enough to pick one of these up and I think that would be perfect for a diorama idea I'm working on at the moment. Okay, so this is 135th scale. It measures 380 millimeters in length, 104 millimeters high, and 120 millimeters wide. Okay, and uh, that's basically what it looks like. So you've got main entrance plus side entrance, and um, let's have a look at the box. Okay, one side, usual warnings, Okay, models age 14 over, not suitable for children under three years. Mini arts addressed in the Ukraine, all the warnings, basic photo repeated on the end, and on the other side you've got the actual model constructed and painted up in a suggested colour scheme. So as you can tell, this is a brick wall where a lot of the plaster on the outside has fallen off. It is a farm entrance after all, so you would expect wear and tear. Okay, so let's have a look in the box. Now, this is standard mini art vacuum formed kit. Okay, so this one, unlike some of the other ones that I've found, is actually in a plastic bag. All right, so that's the kit number again on bag. We'll put that aside for a second. Let's have a look at the instructions. Okay, simple, straightforward. There's your sprue layout. It's basically the farm main gate and the door. Tells you how to put the gate and the door together. And then tells you how to put the vacuum formed parts together. Same on the other side, the wall. Wall pieces in the corner piece. I think with a bit of imagination you could basically make this a long straight piece of wall rather than an angle like it suggests. Okay, so that's the instructions. Pretty straightforward. Mini Art ha does have a very good page on their website which tells you how to put vacuum form together and also paint it up so it looks really nice. So I suggest having a look at that. And uh, apart from that, you can use your imagination any colour you want. Because it all depends on whereabouts you're actually setting this up. Alright, so we'll just put that aside. Grab my knife. Open the bag up. And let's have a look see. So, first up. There we go. Alright, so first we've got the main farm gate. Alright. Hinges. These are the hinges, so that's not bad. Not a great deal of texture on the wood, although it does have at least the individual slats, so that's good. This is your side door. Alright, nicely moulded. No flash hinges okay so basic pretty good hinges i'll give you close-ups of these anyway anyway and as i said these are vacuum formed so these are the two sides of your main gate corner piece parts of the wall on the back there's nothing on the front so these vacuum formed are really easy all you need to do is score along carefully score along and then basically just snap you don't even have to cut all the way through so let's put that one down and there we go that's the rest of it okay this is your side door not bad actually the uh 
the texture on the plaster and the walls really nice detail really nice so this would be perfect for a large fairly large uh, I would say diorama or parts of a diorama you don't necessarily have to use the old the whole thing so that's basically it as far as this kit's concerned fairly straightforward nice kit good detail has a wide scope of being used anywhere you like any theater operations at a stretch you may even be able to use this in uh, an asian setting with a bit of modifications i think but primarily european okay so it could be eastern or western european or wherever so that's it that is mini arts farm entrance with wall like i said this kit is uh currently out of production but is still available online um can't remember how much this cost me i think it cost me around 30 35 dollars australian so prices do vary just keep an eye out for a bargain okay and that's basically it guys that brings us to the end of this one hope you got something from it from it for it sorry yeah definitely if you pick one of these up and you're interested in making a diorama or something definitely worth it all right guys that's it i will catch you later see ya